The following is a special presentation of Miami All Access powered by the Miami University Bookstore. Not just a bookstore, the bookstore. Well, working on the power play, and Red Hawks have to come back out of their own zone. Camper has it up the wall near side. He'll drop it off as he tries to drop it off, but gets it right back and Seth throws it into the corner. He gets it on the give and go! He shoots it, scores! Camper got it on the give and go out of the corner. And sit in five hole between the pads of Bacala. A power play goal for Carter Camper and the Red Hawks are right back in it, trailing it two to one. Camper never saw the goal. He sent the shot in. He one timed it in and got knocked to the ice. He went down. The shot went in. He got up and then did the goal celebration as he picks up his second goal in as many games. And for Camper, his fifth of the year, and a big one for the Red Hawks, a power play tally to cut the Bemidji lead in half at 2-1. to one. Kinsey has the puck down in the corner, feeds it behind the net to Camper. Camper has it, centers it in towards the net, tipped up front, score! Camper sent it towards the net, it was tipped around, and somehow directed in by the goaltender, Bacala. I think Camper will get credit for it, and the Red Hawks have rallied from a two-goal deficit to now tie it at 2-2. That one was a weird one. Pink ponging around right along the goal line. Camper had it. He went from behind the net right along the goal line, tried to center it up. It actually went off the skate of the defenseman. Pink ponged around and got by Bacala. We'll wait to see who gets credit for it, but either way, it's a Miami goal, and it will be Camper getting the goal. It's his second of the night and his sixth of the season.